rebuilding. A catastrophic failure, a new start. Physically, mentally, our careers, our businesses. Step back, first step, next step. The driver in me just wants to get it done tomorrow. We'll do this, do that, let's move this, where are we at with this? You build some confidence, build some self-esteem, start to feel better about yourself. The Silverback Blueprint Podcast, a show for men over 40. We focus on getting stronger, staying motivated, building discipline, creating a community, and becoming truly happy. Hey guys, before we get started on today's podcast, I just want to take a minute to let you guys know that our new Work Hard Motherfucker t-shirts are now available at HostileGear.com. Head on over there, use the, the code SILVERBACK and save 20% and get this badass t-shirt. I know a lot of people have been, been saying, hey, what a great idea, can't wait to get it. So now it's up there, it's in color, it looks awesome, and uh, make sure to get yours AS to the AP. And now, on to the episode. Hey guys, and welcome to the Silverback Blueprint Podcast. Keep it simple. We've all heard that uh, quote or that acronym, KISS, keep it simple, stupid. Or if you want to be nice, keep it simple, silly, right? But I like the stupid part. Um, And I think what, what, for me, what I want to talk, how I want to come at it today, and this is just a couple notes I had written the other day after working on some things, is... um, you know, at this point in our lives, and again, most of my audience is over 40, 50, and some rocking 60s and beyond. Um, you know, I think innately at this point, we know what has to get done, right? And sometimes it's just a matter of just saying, fuck it, let's just do it, right? And that's sometimes where I see the impatience I have and from impatience for myself. Um, you know, you sort of grab yourself and you give yourself a slap and stuff like that. Um you know, I, I'm sure we'd like to do that with many others sometimes, but we get in trouble for doing that. Um, but we sort of just, you know, grab a hold of ourselves and, and just say, hey, listen, snap out of it. Let's fucking go, right? Um, and it really is that simple. I talked a little bit earlier, but I've gotten back to teaching the uh, the 5.45 a.m. boot camps. The gym opens up at 5.30. I'm up at 5. And uh, just how that getting back up early like that has really brought back some productivity for me and brought back some... Uh, not, not brought, uh, amped up my productivity, I think is the, is a better word for it. I'm, I'm getting shit done, but I find, you know, this morning stuff is, uh, that's that key that I had before that I kind of forgot about and have come back to. And it really is simple. You know, if I had to, uh, put it down to like, you know, um, six steps to keep in, in the, the vein, the vein of keeping it simple, you know what I mean? It's, uh, you know, wake up early, exercise daily, journal, then work your plan, work hard, and then be consistent. I, I, I think it's, it's, it's as simple as that, right? And if we want to make it even simpler, right, bring it down to one thing, one notion, take action. Take action each and every day, right? Start off the day taking action, you know, end the day purposefully, right? By now, if you're listening to anything we're talking about, and if you've been doing anything on your own or working on your on yourself, um, if you know, we know that there, we have the list already, right? We've read the books, we've listened to the podcasts. Don't stop listening to podcasts. We've listened to the podcasts, and it just comes down to taking action and implement the strategies that we know work, right? I think you know what's important is we remember that is that simplicity right you just got to fucking get off your ass and get shit going right you know we um you know adding to the action part is the working hard i say it all the time now that's the sign off now for this podcast right work hard motherfucker because anything less than that isn't going to make anything change right if you want to break the status quo if you want to go to the next level if you really want to work on developing yourself and going after those weaknesses and and you know getting things done you have to work hard there's no fucking way around it. There just isn't. Again, talk to anyone who's gotten shit done to the level that you admire, to the level that you wish you could get things done or that you want to get things done, right? They will tell you hard fucking work. Doing the things that have to get done every day. Doing the stuff that has to get done when no one's watching, right? It's easy to be on when you're in front of a group of people. 
it's easy to be on, you know, for an hour a day when you're running a meeting or running a, for our case, a, a strength and conditioning session or whatever. That, that part's easy. It's for an hour. In, even in the back of your mind, like you just like step up, get it done. It's going to be over in an hour. I mean, you can treat your workout the same way. You can treat any endeavor that way. You can work yourself up, get amped up to the point where you know that, hey, it's only going to be a little bit, right? At the end of the day, you've got to do that hour in and hour out, day in and day out, week in and week out. You know, we get caught up in this, and I, you know, I say this all the time, you know, the, the, the internet memes and, and the Facebook memes and, you know, uh, beast mode and uh, today I'll be better than I was yesterday. Well, we all fucking know that by now, right? But at the end of the day, we've got to stop waiting for that final secret to fall into our lap because you already know what the secret is, right? It's fallen in your lap 100,000 fucking times at this point. Look back whenever you've gotten shit done. It was because you took action and you worked hard and you were consistent. You know, I use the example all the time when I got, and I'm working with people and I get stuff like, oh, you know, it's the class is at eight o'clock or it's a long day. And, you know, I got a lot going on. And I look at the guy, especially when I'm dealing with the guys and look him right in the fucking eyes. And I tell them, hey, you remember when you first started dating your wife, right? You'd have fucking driven for five hours one way, just a fucking banger. And driven five hours back, take a shower and go to work the next day. Right? We've all been in that situation. So don't give me that bullshit about, oh, I don't know. It's, you know, I get home, then I'm on the couch, and I have to come back in. Right? It can be done. Right? You've done it. You've done that shit at a crazy level. We've all been there. We're like, a, you know, we're motivated by a goal or we're under the gun. We got a deadline for something huge. We've all worked 24 hours in a row. We've all stayed up two or three days in a row. We've partied for an entire weekend, passed out, woke up and did it again, stuff like that. It can be done. It's just about the fact that you make it important enough. You get excited enough about it. We talked before about having a big enough why, right? At the end of the day, you manifest a big enough why for something, nothing will stop you, including yourself. And that's the one who's stopping us most of the time is ourselves. We're getting in our own way. You know, at this point, failing to launch, you know, is your fault. At this point, it really is. If you're not getting it done, it's on you. You're not 16 years old anymore and don't know shit, right? You, you know, you're not 25 years old and you just fucking blew everything into casino and you're fucking broke, right? You're not 35 years old and you just drove your business into the fucking ground or the economy fucking drove your business in the ground. You've lost everything. You have to start over. You're past that now. In fact, if that's happening to you now, all I can tell you is at the end of that, you're going to be better because that's a huge trial and tribulation, right? There's an opportunity though for you to also do that whole inventory as to why this happened. Sometimes a lot of it can be out of your hands, but at the end of the day, at the same time, a lot of it was in your control. You could have seen something coming if you were looking, if you were being mindful if you were being smarter about what you were doing and protecting what was important, right? And that's okay if you fuck that shit up because that's part of life. But what did you learn from it? And if we sit down and we look at the lessons learned from these, these catastrophes that happened to us, these meltdowns, these big fuck-ups, right? We'll see that the answers are usually the small, important things, the simple things, right? You're tired in the morning, Go to bed earlier, right? I shot a little video this morning. I got up at the gym and I got to the gym for about quarter after five, 20 after five. I like to be there early. I never like to be there on time. I don't like being, if we open the gym at 5.30, I want it to be open, lights on, music on, shit's going on. But this morning, it was minus 25 degrees. You know, we're, we're launching this here in May. Right now it's January 31st, 2018. It was minus 22 or 24 degrees outside. I didn't even have to look at the temperature. I could just tell in the house, it just it was colder outside. And man, I was under the covers and it was warm. I was cuddled up beside my wife. Like, you know, did I want to get out of bed? Fuck no. Right? Was I a little groggy? Absolutely. But I did the one simple thing, and I talked about it in the video today, is I just sat up. I sat up, took that immediate action step, and then just stood up. And I just went at it, got up, went to the bathroom, brushed my teeth, got dressed, 
Didn't even think about it anymore. Didn't let the motion get in, right? I had to get up because there'll be people pulling on that door at 530 and I want the fucking gym to be open and ready. I want my clients to have the product they're expecting. So that accountability, right? That level of a standard that I placed upon myself, right, takes over. I mean, I could sit there and get there at 5.35 say, oh, guys, cold car didn't start, you know, that kind of stuff. Pretty believable. But I would know the difference. I'd know it's a fucking lie. And that's not the standard I want. Not the standard I want for myself. But it was simple, guys. Sit up. Right? We overthink things. Yeah, it's going to be chilly because I'm sitting up from under the blankets and stuff like that, right? At the end of the day, right, just bite your fucking bottom lip and get it done. And that one simple action triggers the entire morning. I get to the gym on time, it's freezing in the car, right? Well, I'll tell you what it did. I was pretty wide awake by the time I got to the gym. Get in there, open up the lights. There's something I love now. Uh, again, going back to the early morning rituals, pulling into that parking lot, and I'm the first guy there, right? I love it. I love it because it's showing me to the world that, hey, I'm here, motherfuckers, and I'm ready to get some shit done, All right? But it was that simple action. Get up, taught the class, had a good time, good energy, good focus, right? Got, got some guys and girls to get some great workouts out of themselves, right? And then next step, did a couple things behind the counter, did a little bit of work on my journal, right? Next thing you know, I'm home. It's 8.30. I got a bunch of stuff done. I know I got a late night tonight. I got to print up a bunch of shirts. I said, you know what? I'm going to take a nap. So I'm on the couch watching a little TV with my daughter. She's home from school today. And uh, boom, next thing I know, as I said a couple episodes ago, uh, my daughter's like, there's a white car in the driveway. And it's Luke, you know, from Podcast Wagon, you know, we're here getting ready to do the uh, podcast. It slipped my mind that he was in a 10 this morning, right? But I woke up, shook it off, right? And here we are podcasting, right? But it started off with, I got up, I sat up, shook off those cobwebs, shook off those feelings of not wanting to get up, right? It's taking the emotion out of that stuff. Don't let the emotions have a chance to take over. Don't let those scripts in your head be the ones that prevail for the day, right? Take that immediate and swift action. And, you know, again, everything falls into place. Now, if you have a plan, right? If you have an action plan, if you have a purpose, you're beginning with the end in mind. Once you're up and started, you're moving towards that, right? If we don't have the clarity of purpose, if we don't have the clarity of intention, we'll be up, but then we'll just wander. We'll wander through the day. We'll meander. Maybe you have a job, depending on where you work, where you can get away with shit like that, where, you know, you're just there. Do a few things, and whether you do it at 10 a.m. or 2 p.m., it doesn't matter. So you're taking longer breaks, longer lunch hours. You're farting around on the computer, Right? calling around to try to get the best price on your fucking chlorine powder because you had nothing else to do. That fucking burns my ass, you know, in the gym and the stores and stuff when I'm there and I get people calling me from a government number at 10, 15. And what are they doing? I'm trying to see, Hey, what's your price in protein? That's all they got to do. Nothing better to do, you know, spend the next hour and a half of you know the, the taxpayer's time calling around to get the best price on something when they should be fucking working. Right because they're lost they're they're just they're wandering purpose guys purpose is so important overall we've talked about it you know go back to some of the earlier episodes right clarity of intention what are you doing what is what is every moment leading up to right but again none of that stuff can happen without the simple things getting up early exercising daily the journal working your plan working hard and being consistent you take that and you overlay it onto anything that you're doing, any goal, any purpose you have, it works. It's a template. It's the template for getting shit done, right? It's that simple. You know the answers, right? It's on you now to put them into play. You know, a little bit of tough love, but some reality. At the end of the day, it's there. We live in a time and in a world where amazing things can be achieved. You can sit there without a fucking job, get to the library, borrow the computer, and you can create something online and sell it you can type up your 15 favorite smoothie recipes sell it for 4.99 and you know what people will buy it right all you need to do is take action 
right? It's easier than ever now to do things and get things done. But I also think of the one thing I will admit is that especially if you don't have the clarity of intention, you don't have a purpose and you don't have, you know, a roadmap to go through stuff, it's easier now than ever to get sidetracked. It's easier now than ever to have interruptions come in front of you, right? Get caught up in the day, get caught up in the, the day-to-dayness, right? Dealing with things that are just in front of you. If we let ourselves get to that point where we become reactionary rather than purposeful, we can get lost. A whole day can get lost. You know, we have it, you know, um, I, in, 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 with my staff, I call it the time burglars, right? The time bandits. You know, we're working the front counter and we're there to be there for our clients. So we're there to make their experience in our gym the best one possible. But we have to watch out that when we, get, we don't get caught up having a 22 minute conversation about their dog because that's not what we're there for either, right? We have to be polite, but we have to find ways to break free from those conversations, to move on to the task at hand, the next client, the next thing that has to get done overall, right? It's the same with our own attention span. We can be our own time burglars, our own time bandits. Fucking Netflix. You know, I use it all the time as an example. And there's times for it, guys. Don't get me wrong. There's time, you know, you get tired, you get worn down, and you know that the next solution that you need, the main thing that you need to work on is to unplug and unwind. Then Netflix your shit up. Read a book. Chill. All right? It doesn't matter how you do that. But that can't happen at 2 o'clock in the afternoon if you're supposed to be at home working on something. The problem is that's what happens to a lot of people. I'm always, when I find out people work from home, I'm always like, how does that work for you? Right? And they're like, what do you mean? I go, well, if I'm too close to the TV, I'll turn the TV on. And next thing you know, I got one eye, you know, Homer Simpson, where you can move one eye off to the side and watch something. Right? It's just, you know, it's my human nature. Right? I'm like, oh, I love this movie. I've seen it a hundred times. Next thing you know, I'm watching that fucking movie. So I'm always wondering, you know, when people tell me they work from home, how do they do it? Not how do they do it. I mean, yeah, you're working from home. I get that. But how do they set themselves up to work from home in a way that stays productive? What works for them? We talked about the last episode, right? About, you know, modeling after other people, right? Watching the wise. So for me, what works well is I have the TV off. What works well is, or I, I'm set up in my office downstairs. And it's nice out. I'm working outside. So that makes a big difference. But... On that same device I'm working on, it just takes one click, you're on, you're on YouTube, you're checking something out that's important or you want to research, next thing you know, you get those stupid YouTube suggestions, right? And I'm watching some guy doing card tricks for 45 minutes. You know, America's Got Talent. I'm watching some 10-year-old sing like Whitney Houston. I'm like, fuck, right? The distractions are always there. They only slip in though if we let them. And again, right, it's like temptation. If you don't want to be tempted about something, don't put yourself in a situation where you can be, can be tempted, tempted about that certain thing, whether it's booze or drugs or sex, right, or food, right? We deal with people with food all the time. Oh, I can't stop eating potato chips. I'm like, well, tell you what. I said, go home and throw all the fucking potato chips out. Oh, I can't do that. Well, then you're going to be eating potato chips. If that's your Achilles heel, right, it's, again, it goes back to simple. Throw the fucking potato chips out. Buy one bag. Eat them on your cheat night and then throw the rest out. It is that simple, guys, right? That's the thing. Keep it simple. Focus on your plan and don't move forward until you get the things done you want for today. Now, let's say you have a fucking phenomenal day and you get a ton of shit done, right? You knock the shit out of your to-do list. You got all kinds of stuff done. You've invented two things, stuff like that. NASA's called you. You solved the fucking problem with fucking re-entry, uh, you know, physics and stuff like that. You know what? Take the afternoon off. You've earned it, right? That's okay too. But get some shit done first, right? We talked about, you know, having your plan during the day, which is good. But we also talked about that reevaluation at night, right? Taking 10 minutes at the end of your day, look at what you were working on, look at what you want to get done. What did you get done? Awesome. What didn't get done? What didn't get done, move it to the top of the list for the next day. So if I pop up my journal today, I'll look up and I'll see I already wrote a little bit about today from last night and a couple of things I want to focus on and get done. There's a couple of nagging things that I just keep forgetting to do. There's one thing that I need to get done that I really I'm not looking forward to doing because it's going to be a little uncomfortable. I've been pushing that thing up for a week, right? Today's the fucking day it gets done because I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of 
you know, letting myself off the hook all the time. Because now I'm at, like, if I had dealt with that last week, it'd be fucking done. Now it's like a fucking chain around my neck, right? Guys, that's the power of having a journal. That's the power of, you know, creating a plan and having a vision. And then that's the other power of reviewing what got done and what didn't get done. Right? But it's simple. It really is. Everybody in the gym now is so used to seeing my journal on the counter and me writing stuff in it. Right? That if I don't do it, they'd be like, hey, where's your journal? They know I talk about it all the time. So you get that odd douchebag. He's like, oh, you don't have your journal out today. That's right. I don't have my journal out today. Right? But for the most part, when people say it's because they're coming to understand that that's a big thing for me. And that's part of my identity overall. Right? Which is cool. That means because if I'm doing it that much and it really is becoming that part of my identity and the world is seeing it, that means I'm becoming one with it. Right? And that's what I want. I want it to become synonymous with my actions. I just, I get up, I rock stuff, and this is what I have overall. That's the only way it gets done. It's that simple, right? Oh, there's that word again for today, simple. So at the end of the day, guys, as I said, you know what the secret is. There is no secret. It's in the simplicity. It's in those six steps we talk about. Now it's time for you to get off your ass and get started. That's simple, guys. That's all I got for today, guys. Please leave us a review on iTunes. Five-star rating is phenomenal. Head on over to HostileGear.com, use the code word SILVERBACK, and when you type in the word SILVERBACK, I want you to say, this is the code word. It'll be more dramatic. And as always, guys, don't forget to work hard, motherfuckers, and I'll talk to you guys later.